Hi, my name is Edward Chen, and this summer I'm going to be interning at Alassian. And then cut. With LeetCode, it's very easy to fall into a trap of just being very passive about it. Before coming to uni, I had like no coding experience. So I wanted to go back, start really early. This is like probably my, my biggest regret actually in uni. How many LeetCodes did you do? I'll give a, give a bit of a disclaimer. I think everyone's university life will be different. There's kind of no right or wrong way to approach university. Yeah, this is my experience and my journey about how I got to this point. I was, at the beginning, was very just class oriented. In first year, it was just all about getting good grades and trying to get HD for every class. This was definitely good, but a lot of the times I also feel like it's not as fulfilling. I definitely looked towards a lot of more extracurricular activities, uni clubs, been an ambassador, consulting internship at Deloitte. I've done the Accenture Bootcamp and I've also done IBL as well. But I think the biggest thing that's kind of impacted my uni life has definitely been joining clubs, joining Mac. Clubs is like the best thing you can do for uni. Not just being in a club as a member, being as an actual committee member and helping organize events. It to be around like-minded people, having fun at uni in a place where a lot of times it gets like very boring because you just go to class and you leave and you go home and it's lonely. Yeah. What was the interview process like for Atlassian and how did you prepare for it? So the Atlassian interview process for the software engineering role came in three phases. So it's an online assessment and then a live technical and then finally it's a values interview. In terms of the first two stages, it was very much just a lot of LeetCode. LeetCode is pretty much a website where you can do a bunch of practice questions, practice coding questions. Practicing LeetCode is really, really important for all your interviews for technical roles in general. If I were to go back, start really early and lead code consistency. This is like probably my, my biggest regret actually in uni is not doing lead code early. And the first one you do, if you don't have coding experience, will be very, very humbling. Like I remember I did two sum, I did not know how to like, I did not know how to solve that shit. Doing it early and then doing maybe like even just one a week, but for a long period of time before your interviews will set you up for success. Otherwise, you kind of have to cram it all into one go and then you just be done for. To build on that, I definitely feel like quality over quantity. With LeetCode, it's very easy to fall into a trap of just answering the LeetCode questions in your head in silence, or just looking at the solution as well, but being very passive about it. What I recommend is each time you do a LeetCode, if you're seriously preparing for interviews, record yourself solving the problem and talk out loud. When you do that, you're forced to actually explain the code and it kind of better simulates the actual interview process. When I was actually preparing for Alassian was talking out loud when I was solving the LeetCodes. Even better to that is actually getting someone to mock interview you. When you have the mock interview, the pressure of someone being there, giving you that, that interview simulation, that nervousness and that elevated level of stress is another thing that people don't, don't really expect when it comes to mock interviews. And it's a whole different world. I feel like my mind goes blank so many times, but it really highlights your mistakes and where your weaknesses are. Just make sure each time you practice, it's high quality and it simulates the interview. With the behavior part, definitely a lot more simple. I kind of separate it into two parts. So the first part for behavior interviews is creating a story box. The story box pretty much was a collation of all my stories where each story was appealing to the company values. For example, companies really like to see your teamwork, uh, conflict management, dealing with problem solving. So I would have a story tailored to that value. And what that allowed me to do is come prepared with which story. The biggest thinking is thinking about a time or thinking about that moment. But once you have that moment in your head, then you can kind of just flow with that and then talk about it. I would recommend, you guys might be familiar with the teal structure. So make a teal structure for each story so that you always hit certain values and also hitting kind of the lesson that you learned for that story. Yeah, and then from there, it's very easy. Just mock interview after mock interview. With a behavior interview, it's very much just your nerves. If you're able to be calm under pressure and talk and articulate yourself, that will go a hell of a lot more of the way than what you're saying. I think how you say it and delivering it with, with confidence is probably 80% of the delivery. Why did you pick computer science? Not gonna lie, before coming to uni, I had like no coding experience. Honestly, I just want to make money. In terms of do I actually like the content? There are times where I'm just like, I hate it. There are were, were actually times where I remember one of my assignments, it was like a 1047, assignment one, and I was sitting there at my house, just like wondering if this degree for me. I think my, my reasoning for CompSight actually kind of changed over time from what I like and more become kind of a task that I need to achieve. It's not something that I couldn't say, wow, I'm 100% passionate about or I, I'm just like in love with coding. Do you feel like it's hard to make friends on university? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I definitely feel like compared to high school, it's very, very difficult. And I imagine outside of uni as well, maybe working full time, it's very hard. What allowed me to make kind of the friends I have today in uni was definitely 
clubs. I think right now, my my current social circle, people I spend a lot of time with are people I've met through clubs. And for me, a real sense of purpose and being around people that are like-minded just kind of helps me find a community who are relatable. And yeah, it doesn't make me a lot happier and feel like coming to uni. How many league codes did you do? I think in total, my goal was like to finish the knee code 150. I did like 55. <laughs> What's the most important thing that you did that got you the internship? So I definitely feel like what my biggest strength was for the interviews was my communication. Being able to communicate your ideas clearly and explain ideas clearly was, yeah, I think my biggest strength. I don't feel like my coding skills was anywhere near some of the people that I know. I guess to get how I got the soft skills and refine my communication was through the experiences that I did in uni. Pretty much anything that involves talking to people or any opportunity that you have to meet people and talk to people, build your foundation for communication. And through that, you're able to translate that into the interviews. And I think that's definitely received really well. And people, interviewers can feel it when you're well-spoken. It kind of gives you that really strong foundation and leverage when they can kind of combine with your, with your coding skills and deliver um, a good interview.